Stoicism is a philosophy that originated in ancient Greece and was later developed in ancient Rome. It teaches that the path to a virtuous and fulfilling life is through the practice of reason, self-control and the cultivation of a strong and rational mind. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of accepting the things that are outside of our control, such as external events and the actions of others, and focusing instead on what we can control, our thoughts, attitudes and actions. By doing so, we can develop a sense of inner peace and tranquility, regardless of the circumstances we find ourselves in. Stoicism also teaches the importance of living in accordance with reason, nature or the natural order of things. This involves recognising our place in the world, our responsibilities to others, as well as cultivating the four virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. Later on in this series, we're going to be discussing the four virtues of Stoicism. The most famous Stoic philosophers include Epictetus, Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, whose writings continue to be studied and admired today. So let's recap. Stoicism is a philosophy that emphasizes the personal ethics and the importance of living in the present moment, accepting what cannot be changed and focusing on what is within our control. Imagine that someone has been looking forward to going on a hike all week, but on the day of the hike it starts to rain heavily. The person could choose to be upset, frustrated and disappointed that their plans have been ruined, or they could choose to adopt a more stoic perspective. Instead of focusing on what they can't control, i.e. the weather, the person could focus on what they can control, their reaction to the situation. They could choose to accept the reality of the situation, acknowledge their disappointment, but then shift their attention to the present moment and find joy in other activities they can do despite the rain. For example, they could enjoy the smell of the rain, take a walk in the woods, or read a book in a cabin. By adopting a stoic perspective, the person can learn to be more resilient, adaptable and content with their circumstances, even when things don't go according to plan. Now what I would like you to think about is how could we apply stoicism to the modern age? But we're going to look at this subject later on in the series, but I want you to start thinking about how could we start living in accordance with nature and what questions does this open, especially with what we're dealing in modern society. Because if you think about how we live our lives today, we're not living in accordance with nature. We're using our mobile phones, we're using social media, we can no longer distinguish who we are in our relationship to nature. The very simple things in life often have the greatest truth. And there is an Egyptian proverb that explains this in that the fastest way to truth is through nature. And yet the Greeks also realize that reality is that which is independently derived. It is that which exists whether you exist or not. Therefore, how could you control things that are beyond your existence? We simply can't. Stoicism is more than just ignoring one's emotions. In fact, it's simply not that at all. It's about applying one's mental faculties in order to understand reality and make the best decision. Our emotions often misguide us, but we're human beings and every human being on this planet, unless you're a psychopath, have emotions, we have feelings, but we need to learn to combine those emotions with our mental faculties. Once we can achieve this, then we can start making moral decisions that have a sense of reason to them. Welcome to the Sage Verse with real works and true words. Patterns of recognition leaves your brain converged. Time is irrelevant when the thoughts of impediment corrupt your soul with mind numbing nemesis. The Sage's way is where the truth hits the page. Turn your soul into a library in the name of knowledge and discovery. We seek out reality to be gone of human apathy.